Uh, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to control your PC or Mac or Linux computer using nothing but your iDevice. Um, it's a over Wi-Fi. You do not need to be jailbroken for this. Um, however, you do need to have a preferably fast Wi-Fi connection just and, a, um, of course, a PC that is connected to the Internet so that you can connect. Um, the faster the connection, the better, just due to lag and stuff along those lines. Now, first thing we're going to do, or you're going to do, is uh, go to this link, which is in the description, and download this program called RealVNC. Now, of course, um, out of all of these download links, it's really up to you which one you want to use. Um, those three operating systems I've never really heard of, so I'm not going to mention them. But um, Windows, obviously, it's up to your file system. Yeah, so here's it, whichever one you want to download. Um, Mac, take a look at the operating system and make sure you have the right OS X and uh, Linux um, installer on your computer and it's 32 or 64 bit. That's what you want to look at. So once you have that download, actually you're going to click the download link and then make sure you click I have run accept, download, blah 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 blah. Um, leave that link up to put on the. Um, now over here, the next thing you want to do is choose which of these options you want. Whether you want to try it for free. Um, both of these are a try, the try anyways, a 30 day trial and with the features. Currently I have the 30 day trial with enterprise features and uh, I actually just downloaded it today in the last attempt to record this video but my sister was loud and annoying. So I had to start over. But, um, so here's your 30 day trial and um, once you get that license key, get the, make sure you just copy it or open it into your email, whatever you need to do to get it and download the program. Now, next thing you're going to do, of course, is install the program. Uh, check all the settings you want to check. Make sure you have, do check the one that enables it to bypass your firewall during the setup procedure. And um, once you're set up, it's really, really simple. Your first thing you're going to open is the um, enter license key. Then you're going to enter your own license key. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to hit cancel because I already have my license key entered. But once that is entered, then you're going to open the VNC server program. I haven't pinned in my taskbar, but you probably will need to go into the programs and open them. Actually, I'm just going to do that anyway for the simple reason of um, showing you guys, at least on Windows 8, where they are. And that's if you saw me just open up the start menu, click down, and do all apps. And over here is all the new thing. There's the VNC server license key, and here's VNC server. Open that. So you can't see this right now. It's a black screen. It's saying, do you want to allow make changes on your computer? Uh, VNC server program name, uh, publisher, real VNC LTD, file origin, hard drive on this computer. I'm going to hit yes. Um, clearly, you're going to do the same. Now, we're going to leave this window up, and we're going to, I'm going to pop open my iTools. You're just going to look at your device. Um, iTools is a program which I use to view my iPod, um, iPhone, and uh, it actually doesn't do any controlling. Uh, the current i iDevice control VNC is um, not updated for iOS 8.1 yet. Um, I will of course let you guys know when that happens immediately because I will be excited. However, this is a viewing device iTools. There's a tutorial for it. I'll have the link to that video in the bottom left-hand corner, just like I always do whenever I use iTools. Um, so, I already have the NC Viewer downloaded. Um, just search VNC, you'll find it. It's the free version of what we need. So, I'm just going to open it since I already have it downloaded. And I also already have my computer connected. But if you go in Add Connections, and then here in this IP address, you're going to type in this IP address right here or this IP address. They should be the same. And I'm still going to leave that open because I'm going to hide it actually. But So you're going to type that in, blah blah blah. Add a name to your computer if you want, hit save. Once you're connected, or once you do that, then you're going to open up this and uh, connect. It's going to ask you for a password the first time, which you should have set up in the setup after you entered your passkey or on the website when you got the passkey one or the other. But now that I am in the program, you can see that I am in control of my desktop. It's very small. 
as far as we're concerned, but I am clearly controlling my desktop with my screen, with my mouse there on the app. So you know what I'm going to do for you guys while I tell you to like, subscribe, and uh, have, check, my, check out my channel. Check out my jailbreak tutorials and other tutorials with it. I am going to close out the video using my phone. Double tap to click and move something. Obviously, just tap to stop. Well, anyway, as I said, iTools, a link in the bottom left-hand corner, jailbreak tutorial link in the top left corner, just like always, and uh, subscribe link in the bottom right corner, just like always. So you guys have a fantastic day. Like, subscribe, and uh, check out my channel. Thanks, you guys. And uh, the next video I will have will hopefully be how to delete those pesky stock Apple apps like the uh, stocks and the reminders and calendars and stocks and contacts and pretty much the apps nobody likes. The uh, tips and iBooks ones too on the new iOS 8 devices. And uh, I will of course have those on my channel as soon as I um, complete making them. So you guys have a fantastic day. Again, like, subscribe, and check out my channel. Thanks, bye.